Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTN HD, and yes, an MDT 2013 video for you guys. And today is actually a video that someone actually requested a while back, and they wanted to know how to install Dropbox with MDT 2013. Now, I got together with an awesome dude uh, that actually works with Dropbox. He is an engineer, an IT engineer. And he works real close with Dropbox. He's the IT guy. And uh, he kind of hooked me up with a script that he's working with. Uh, from my understanding, um, they are working with an MSI application to make deployment a little easy for us deployment guys. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you guys the script. I actually have the script inside of my MDT server. So let me close that up. Let's go inside my deployment. So I dropped everything inside my deployment share, scripts, BTNHD, Dropbox, and there's uh, three folders. There's a Dropbox folder, which I don't really understand why it's there, because when you look at the scripts, uh, it doesn't uh, kind of call, it doesn't call this folder at all. You got the repo, which all the goodies, and then you have the Dropbox install.bat file. Now I'm going to right click on this, I'm going to go to edit. Now, Let's take a look at the Dropbox install. Now, the Dropbox install basically he sets a bunch of variables. Uh, he sets an app name, the app version, the app repo, the stage repo. Now, what this does, this batch file takes this repo right here, takes everything inside the repo, and drops it inside Windows DBX DB installer. If the folder doesn't exist, it creates the folder for you. That's the only thing it does. It just copies all this information over, and that's it. Also, at the very end of the batch script, it also drops a, um, a reg hack. Now, let's go inside the reg hack. So, I'm going to go to repo, config. I'm going to right click on this. I'm going to go to edit. Uh, it basically sets that the install drop folder, uh, an install drop box for users is assigned to the, the, the file or the path of where everything is going to be installed. So let's go inside this particular command. I mean, this is really intense. I like the way that he, uh, JJ, was able to manipulate the script. Again, he, he, he knows how to work the script because he works for the company. So the this is, the, this is actually the script that's going to make everything run flawless. Now, my understanding, uh, Dropbox is only going to be installed on the local user. It, it would have been nice if maybe the Dropbox would be installed with the default user, meaning if I had another user log in, Dropbox will be already you know inside their environment, but it will only work for the user that's logged in. So uh, it goes inside the app data, which this folder is actually you know hidden. Uh, it creates a Dropbox folder inside of it. Uh, it, it does all the installation as you see he also provided me the installer and the installer is actually 3.57 which from my understanding it's the latest and greatest one and he drops a, uh, a parameter of s which would be silent I've tried the regular Dropbox installer that installs or you download within the site and it normally doesn't work when I do a parameter with the s apparently this one the special one does work with the parameter of s to do silent so within your deployment hopefully you guys have been tuning in with my other videos uh, I just didn't do the old-fashioned application actually I did do the old-fashioned importing the Dropbox application and it did not work I got a bunch of failures so the way that I got around it to make everything work seamless was I created a task sequence now within my task sequence I went to the custom node and I created two a Dropbox install first and a Dropbox install second now you can name these whatever you want now my Dropbox install first which is gonna be the first thing that's gonna happen is that um, it's gonna run the Dropbox install dot batch file so what's gonna happen is it's gonna go in here it's gonna run this first now the first command what it's gonna do is like I said this batch file just copies everything inside the repo uh, creates a folder called DBX Dropbox right drops all those files that it needs as well as import that registry then the second command remember 
because you have all that installation file on your C drive, you need to call that bat file, this bat file, within your local environment. Okay, you're not calling this inside your deployment share. You're calling this inside your C drive, your local deployment, right? Once you do that, press OK. And you, as always, make sure you update your deployment share. So I'm going to update my deployment share. And we're going to hit finish. And because I'm doing this on a virtual machine, I'm going to go new virtual machine. I'm going to go to new. Uh, next, I'm going to do a Windows 7. Let's call this BJ Dropbox. There we go. And I'm going to drop it inside my temp folder, which is in my C drive, VM temp. I'm going to give it a small size because this virtual machine is real small. We're going to hit next. And we're going to hit finish. And from here, we're going to power our virtual machine. And we're going to make sure that we F12. So we get inside our Pixie Boot. Because if you guys have been following me, I love doing Pixie Booting. And hit enter. Uh, you're probably wondering, oh, I've seen in the past videos, you actually went into your WDS server, restarted, and replace your WIM images. Yeah, because this is such a light modification, you really don't need to do that. Uh, if you're importing maybe a new operating system or importing new NIC drivers or any specific drivers, most likely you need to update your deployment and replace your uh, your boot images within your WDS server. So we're going to let this run. And uh, once it runs, I'm going to show you how, how everything looks. All right, so my deployment is ready. Again, I'm, I've been lazy. I haven't done uh, the automation of doing all this. So I'm constantly entering the password, but it's okay. Uh, hopefully, you guys have checked out my video on the custom settings INI file so you guys can actually automate all this and don't have to deal with this like me. You know, press OK, logs you into the deployment share. We're going to pick the task sequence that has those two custom um, modifications. You're going to hit next. I'm just going to go next like crazy, go next, go next, go next. And again, and I test this out with the application deployment and it did not work. The custom settings that I showed you guys worked out for me. And I'm going to hit next. And again, big ups for JJ from Dropbox. Thank you so much for helping me out. I do appreciate all the help. This is awesome. And we're going to begin.
and we're back yes as you can see no errors successful the deployment and Dropbox has been installed I'm gonna go into my start go to computers and uh, let's minimize this and let's go to C Drive and let's go to Windows and DBX and there goes the DB installer with all the files how awesome is that a huge shout out to JJ from Dropbox awesome IT engineer I'm so happy that I met him hopefully the MSI stuff comes out hopefully I could test that stuff out for you guys and see how well it works with the MDT and uh, if you guys have any comments or concerns or any questions leave it at the bottom of the uh, video and I'll catch you guys on the next one hey and don't forget about hitting that like button and that subscribe button and I'll catch you again later peace out